Hey everybody, uh, Nate Eaton here at my kitchen table. Just wanted to give you a quick update. It's Friday night. Uh, charges have officially been filed against Blaze Thibodeau's mom and uncle. Um, the authorities in Arizona filed these charges today. They are class four felonies and they are, let me read the official charge, custodial interference and conspiracy to commit custodial interference. Charges filed against Spring Thibodeau and uh, Brooke Hale. Uh, Spring is Blaze's mom, Brooke is Blaze's uncle. And they are on the run according to a warrant, which we knew, we knew yesterday that their passports had been used to get into Canada. Uh, but the warrant today uh, that was posted on the court's website, big thanks to Justin Lum in Phoenix for helping uh, us get those documents today. Um, it says that they assisted in getting a ch the child, meaning Blaze, out of the country. And so, um, you know, the, the search is now in Canada. And uh, there, are, there are some additional court filings that were uh, processed a few days ago when Ben Thibodeau, Blaze's dad, went to the court asking for custody, asking for, uh, you know, temporary custody at least for Blaze because there was concerns and there's 17 pages of court filings that are on there. And uh, he wrote, his attorney wrote, mothers absconding with the child as part of an end of the world scenario poses an imminent risk of irrepu irre 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 irreputable harm to the child. He is unwillingly caught in mother's end of the world doomsday scenario. By all appearances, the child was taken against his will and is now fully caught up in her doomsday beliefs beyond the reach of father at the moment. Mother and her group have cut off all communication with the outside world and husband is painfully aware of how other such doomsday cases between here and Idaho have worked out, meaning between Arizona and Idaho. And then he references the Chad Daybell, Lori Vallow case specifically in there. The dad knew how that case ended up, and that's one of the reasons he was asking the judge to have immediate custody granted to him, and the judge did grant that. And so because of that, they're able to charge uh, uh, Spring and Brooke with these charges. The question is, can they find them? Can they find them and serve these warrants and let them know that they have been charged? I wish I had some updates for you today as far as the whereabouts of the uh, of blaze and the rest of the group but i don't um their their family is is so kind just so wonderful the ones who are here just desperate trying to find them and they uh you know of course are being bombarded with media requests and people that want to talk to them from all over and they're 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 kind of not they're not doing any more media they've told me they're at least for now they're just trying to focus and you know, they, they did our interview, which I'm, I'm thankful that they talked to me and hopefully it leads to something. But um, they're working closely with the FBI. The FBI put out a notice today, a missing poster about Blaze. So that's out there. You probably have seen that. And we wait, we wait and see. Uh, you know, I, several of you have contacted me saying that you may, they, you, they may have been spotted in Cardston, Canada or other parts of Canada. That's great. I, I mean, I hope I hope so. And please contact the police if you get those tips. Um, but that's uh, that's where we're at. Again, Spring, Thibodeau, and Brooke Hale charged with two. They're class four felonies. So in Arizona, they list felonies by class. One is the most serious. Six is the least serious. And so this is a class four. So it's kind of there in the middle. And again, it's conspiracy to commit custodial interference and custodial interference. So they conspired to interfere in the custodial thing, it's just custodial agreement, and they actually did interfere in the custodial agreement. We're gonna uh, continue to follow it. Hopefully there's some updates this weekend and then of course next week. And again, if you missed our interviews with Ben Thibodeau, the dad, you can watch those on our YouTube channel or on eastidahonews.com. Also the interview with uh, um, Abby's husband, Brayden. Uh, snar. That's on our YouTube channel as well. All right. There's the latest. Thanks for watching. Good night.